jobs going on today, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. We want to get that piano up to the top so we can figure out where all the rest of the lighting is going to go. This trunking for lighting to go up, I have to clean these tanks out and prepare for a brew day tomorrow. So it's going to be one of those sketchy ones. Right, so we've pretty much tried all types of techniques with this piano. Basically what we're trying to do is get the uh, string mechanism, this bit, off the piano back so we can hang it on the wall as an ornamental piece. But we can't get it off the back, it seems to be glued and screwed, it's made of cast iron, I don't want to crack it. And I'm aware that all these piano strings combined are exerting a heck of a lot of force onto this cast iron back. So I think I'm going to attempt what I would imagine is a YouTube first. Uh, we're going to take all the strings off the piano and just hang the cast iron back on the wall. The trouble is, all the string adjusters are extremely difficult to move. They're either seized or we don't have the right tool. So I'm gearing up and we're going to go ahead and cut them all with the angle grinder. Is this a YouTube first? I'm sure it is. That's it. I think that's it. Right. Safety gear. Safety squints engaged. We'll bring this across here. I don't think it's going to be as dramatic as all that, but we don't know, do we? said could well be a first <laughs> oh pretty god it's like a firework display right I imagine it's gonna go again chance come here I think that went better than anticipated. Now I've got some wires to clean up. This piano situation is becoming somewhat a labour of love. I must say I'm not enjoying taking it apart. But for a quid, <laughs> you can't complain, can you? So I've cut the top off. And it seems now that the, uh, the string mechanism is what is holding the timber onto the cast. So it's just a case of... Uh, 
going down here with the crowbar and just tweaking it out slowly. Can't see, I can't see this being a quick and easy job. To you guys it may have only been two or three minutes of vlog footage, but to me it was a full day's graft or at least since 12 o'clock after doing other things we decided to come and move the pianos into the pub and split this bad boy. Look at her, she's quite a work of art, but geez you have no idea how hard that really was to get off that timber backboard. Jesus, it was really, really difficult. So, the next step is going to be, well, I'm going to leave it on here for tonight. And then we're going to take it into the pub next door and put it on the wall. I think it would be wise to paint the wall first. It weighs quite a lot still. I'd probably estimate in the region of maybe 60 to 70 kilograms. So we could do with a decent way to secure it on the wall, a decent uh, fixing idea, I think might just be timber battens and brick, probably, I'm not sure. I didn't really want to put any timber on the wall if I'm honest. There are plenty of fixing holes, we've got four along the bottom, two in the centre, three in the centre actually, and then we've basically got six big ones at the top and we could utilize all these small ones and then of course all these holes where the tuning uh whatever they're called nubs whatever they are where they came through anyway and one of the reasons why it was so difficult to get out was because underneath the steel or cast iron whatever it is is actually a lip which hooked onto the wood and then all of these little pieces of metal were pointing up so as you lift it up it was getting tighter and tighter and they all had did you hear my knees click then and they all had like these little freaking donut things on there's a real I don't know what they are I don't know if it's bamboo it could be bamboo actually and it made it really really tight in the hole to get them off anyway we've got it off I feel like a champ I'm going to have to go next door now and finish off the electrics and uh, whatever else I've got to do. Are they real? No. Oh, they look like pom poms, sweetheart. <laughs> Have you come to fetch me home? Yeah. Oh, I better pack up then, had I? All right. Time to go, folks. <laughs> Time for a shower. I feel filthy after splitting that piano into pieces. And uh, order some more bits from Poo Station to put these lights up. I think we'll get it done tomorrow, actually. Feeling confident. I was gonna brew, but I've not had time. I just really don't feel like it, actually, and I think that the brewery is a bit messy. So I might just get these jobs done, clean the brewery up over the weekend, and then brew on Monday. I think so. So the plan was, when I got home, to persuade Dominic to come to Columba Park with me for a walk. Apparently he's already done enough, haven't you, you scruff bag? Oh. <laughs> 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 
He don't want to come at all. Oh my god, the, the house is a mess. I know, Gemma's complaining at me now because I showed it. Oh, well, we're busy. Delete it. No, I'm not deleting it. I think I'll speed it up or something. I like to bring people into our oh, home. No. Yes, it's about sharing the wealth. Oh, and yes. This is what we're going for in a moment. But what I'm going to do instead of taking Dominic across to Clumba is perhaps grab the last of these tomatoes because even though the weather's turned a little bit there are still dozens of these little beauties mm. and these look at this lot oh my gosh so we really don't want those to go to waste I'm going back in for another one of them they are gorgeous oh yeah the runner beams took a hit in the recent weather they're on the deck we had some self-seeded plum tomatoes as well can you see that so uh, we've actually been using those and then before they all fall on the floor I plan to get a cardboard egg box here we are and I'm going to bring my egg box outside and we're going to remove most of these apples before they just fall on the floor and rot so some of them are small yet perfectly formed so if I was making cider this year, I'd pick up all the windfall as well, but I don't have time to do it. So I thought I'd just bring them all in. Even these little ones taste really sweet, believe it or not. So they're worth picking. So that'll keep me going until middle of November, won't it, for, for my breakfast. And when I'm picking them up to take them to work, I'll take ones like that, so the remaining apples don't touch and then they won't spoil. And we'll re-jig them all the time, get the bad ones out. And I think I'll just pop them down here in the porch on a shelf among these boots and condensed milk somewhere. So there's a little bit of a Brucey bonus for you folks. A little bit of veg picking, still got the tomatoes to do, uh, but I might crack open it. Yes, don't go anywhere. Wowzers. Check him out, folks. Ah. Now that's worth working for. We'll see you tomorrow.